Good afternoon, Michelle Humes here, your Pucker Up gal. Who's ready for a lip tip today? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, indeed, it's Tip Tuesday. Time for a lip tip. I actually found um, this tip on Pinterest. I go to Pinterest a lot. So say hello. If this is your first time viewing me live, comment with the word new. And please share this video so your girlfriends can see this awesome tip. This is my first time doing this. Um, I have two different products that I'm going to be using. And I'm almost very short on one. I do have a white pencil. And it's almost gone, y'all. <laughs> it is almost gone. But I still use it. I still love it. And um, in the tutorial, it showed a lip liner, which is great, actually, because I do have lip liners, and they can be used to line lips. They can be used to um, just have a full coverage at, like, lip, to make lipstick. So it's awesome. And thank you to the replay watchers that watch this later on. It's like 4 or 5, maybe 4, 4.30 in the afternoon here. So, I know people are still at work, and they can't get on Facebook, and they can't watch videos because they'll get in trouble. So, please do not get in trouble. You can watch the replay. Come back later. Watch the replay. Let me know what you think. And if this was helpful, please um, share this video with your friends. Hi, ladies. I see who I can see who's joined. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. My eyes watering. It's my allergies, don't mind me. Okay, so I'm just going to hop right into it, and if you're excited, show me some hearts or a little lip emoji. I posted earlier, um, I'm going to kind of scooch a little bit. I should have fixed my, my mirror. But I posted earlier today um, this lip trend. Thank you for the love. Whoever's doing the little hearty hearts. <laughs> I can't see who it is, but thank you. So it showed um, the white in between here. And then it instructed you to use a lip liner. So, I mean, I have lip gloss. I have lipstick. I have, you know, the lip stain. But apparently you have to use a liner. So I have two different ones. Um... I think to get the full effect, I need to use the red, the darker one. So I'm going to do the dark one. You're one of them. Thank you, Bridget. You're so sweet. Okay. So, headed into the gym, but I'll... Okay. Oh, hi, Renee. Yes, come back. Please come back. You're more than welcome to watch the replay. Go get your workout, girl. <laughs> and stay away from those buffalo wings. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and try this. This is my first time doing this, so I like to do this live. Um, I'm not afraid to do things new for the first time with my live audience. So I think it's more fun to experience something for the first time with my friends. So that's why I do this. Hi, Manduela. Hey, Mama. Thank you for coming on. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and just do the, the instructions, what it said, and go from there. <clears throat> so apparently I've got to do the middle section of my lip with a white liner. And if you need information about the actual liner that I'm using, you can message me or comment below. Um, I did put a little bit of lip, a little bit of oil on my lips because they're kind of dry. So that's what the shine is. I do have them moisturized right now. This liner here can actually be used on the white line, the the white line of your eye to make your eye appear bigger. Um, that's what I originally got it for was to use as a liner there. My lips are dry, y'all. They are really dry. Say hello, ladies. How are you this afternoon? Oh, look, I'm making an M. 
<laughs> well, look at there. I have an M on my lip. <laughs> okay, let me fill this out. If your lips are really dry, I don't think this is going to work. You really need to make sure you put, even if you have a little chapstick or something, put something to make your lips nice and soft. Isn't it white? Mmm, it's really white. I'll just say it. Get with your unique presenter. They sell these amazing liners. This white one is awesome. I still use it even though I don't sell Unique anymore. Okay, this is um, one that I actually have. We have four different liners available. I'm going to use the red one just so we can see how well this blends. These are super creamy. They're retractable. See that's coming up. See that? They're retractable. My little lippy things fell off my fingernails. And they can be used just as straight up lipstick if you want to. I've got to look at my mirror. Sorry, ladies. I really I find these things and I just like get curious. I want to see if it works. Callie is awesome, so I can go to her. I do have a few friends that still sell it. That's awesome. I don't mind helping other people, like, helping, uh, <laughs> this looks funny. I, I, I don't mind supporting and helping other direct sellers, um, if I get to know them really well and they spend enough time to get to know me, then yep, they get my support. The white liners are amazing. Yes, they are. Okay, I think I have enough on my lips. And then it said to blend. Um, I might have to use a brush to do this. I guess I could use my finger. But it just said to blend them together. So we're going to see if it works. That's my dry lip skin, y'all. Whoa, it worked! It really made an ombre like thingy. Yeah, I could have used my finger, but my I'm not used to my nails yet, and I can't. That really worked. I could probably put a little more, though, I think, maybe. Let me just dab just a little more. It could be the lighting, too. Now this, this liner that I use is very creamy and pigmented. I do not know how it's going to work 
if I were to have a different color liner and this this is like this is not creamy it really isn't creamy this is creamy like lipstick but it worked you definitely can see an ombre thingy yes Bridget it was quick and easy that was so much easier than what I'm used to doing like what mmm it worked I'm gonna do that from now on to make an ombre look that was like this easiest way ever <laughs> like what the heck I'm glad I found that and I'm glad it worked you all need to get a white pencil <laughs> you all need to get a white pencil and get a creamy lip liner from me I'm not kidding we actually have free shipping till the end of the month, so you better hurry up. <laughs> but yes, this worked. It worked. Hallelujah, it worked. I love it. It's not bad, huh? And it's very subtle. It's like, um... It, uh, looks like it's naturally just blending together. You don't know what an ombre thingy is? What's it called? An ombre thing? White gel liner. Well, a gel liner, I will say, dries. It's meant to dry. So you'd have to be really fast. I would do the out. If you're going to try it, Menduela, with the, the um, a liquid white liner, if you do have one, um, I would do the outside first and then do the white liquid. Try it and let me know. Message me or do a live and invite me so I can see it. Um, I'm curious to see if a liquid white liner wouldn't um, just blend all over. This liner actually stayed in place while I was brushing while I was doing this, the white liner didn't move. It didn't go um, into the other, you know, it didn't go to the outside of my lip. Yes, it is Menduela. This red liner is from my line. Um, we have four shades. We have a neutral shade. We have a red shade. We have a pink shade. I actually have one here. It's pink. See, it's pink. This is brand new though. I haven't opened this one. I haven't um I haven't opened that one's brand new. Yes, yeah, so I am very curious if a liquid white liner would work. We already know. The pencil line ooh, I just dropped it. The pencil liner works. And um, to recap really quick, make sure your lips are moisturized or at least um, not dry before you do it. I put a little bit of my face oil on my lip. You can use chapstick, I'm sure. You can do a little, you know, a little sugar scrub with um, a little, like a half a teaspoon of coconut oil and sugar mixed together and rub that on your lips really quick if you want to get fancy and do an at-home lip scrub um, if you have any coconut oil or um, olive oil mix a little bit of sugar with it and make yourself a little lip sugar scrub and exfoliate your lips yes I can I will message you um, and well I'll message you when I'm done with the live um, what the crap what are you saying with the crap what happened Naomi Am I saying your name right? I hope I'm saying your name right. But ladies, that's it. This is the tip today. This was awesome. I love this. I'm going to actually do that with... I'm going to try it. You know what? Don't go anywhere. This is a short video. I want, I'm just curious to see if it works with lipstick. Because these are liners and they're creamy and they work like lipstick. So let me get a lipstick. If you all don't, want, if you all don't mind, I'm going to try a lipstick. I'm going to try a lipstick, see if it works. Well, I don't want that color. I wonder if it works really good with dark 
really dark lip colors. Let me try a do I need to do a dark one? How about that? You want me to do a really dark one? I'm curious to see if it's really dark, if it still works. Oh, what does what what WTC mean? Naomi, what does that mean? I'm gonna try I'm gonna try my dark my dark lipsticks. Alright, I'm gonna do and these shades would look really good with on you, Manduela. Okay. I have this one. And the this one's black magic. It looks purple. It's a different color on every on everybody's different color on everybody. And this one's black cherry. And that's kind of red. Which one? One, two, or three? Which one? We got one, two, and three. This one right here, black cherry. This one, do the dark one. Okay, I'll do that one. Let me get my caps back on. Let me get my caps back on. What the crap? Oh, okay. All right, now I know what WTC means. <laughs> Two? Y'all, black. Okay, you wanted the dark, really dark one. Okay, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Gee. Black magic? Yes, hearts. Is this the one you want to see, black magic? It turns out different on every person. It's kind of like magic. You don't know what shade it's going to be until you put it on. It looks purple, but it's not. Isn't that cool? Okay. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one. All right. Might as well. This is a short video, so I might as well try a darker shade and see how well it works, right? Ombre? Yeah. Let's see how well the ombre works with a darker shade. Let me get my wipe my... I got to get my cloth and wipe it off. Let me get my, my makeup cloth. These are Italian cloths. And they help moisturize and clean. So let me find the opening. Where's the opening at? Hello. It's usually very easy. <laughs> All right, here we go. These disposable take with me anywhere. Yay! These things are freaking amazing. I can't even tell you. I have a whole box. You can, you can buy a whole, look at this, look at this. A whole box of these bad boys. And they're not expensive, I love these things. <laughs> okay. Mm. Stay with me, ladies. I did take off some of my makeup. Why? Okay. All right, let's try this now with a, oh wait, a little bit of oil. Let me get a little drop, just a tiny little. I'm looking at myself in my own mirror. Okay. All right. Let's try this out. Here we go. Step two with a darker shade. Darker shade. Let's see how well it works with a darker shade. Shall we? Well, oh, yes. I think that's about it, right? About the right amount. I am so curious to see if this dark works. If it does, this is golden. <laughs> this is like the easiest thing ever to get ombre looks.
But Manduela, I still want to see if that liquid white liner works. I do. I do want to see that. Okay, I think that's enough. <clears throat> Yes, Crystal. Um, this white liner I've had forever. I got it from Unique. It's a really good white pencil. It's meant to be um, used on the waterline to make your eyes appear bigger or right here to make a highlight if you want. Um, that's what the white pencil is for. Um, I love this white pencil. I still have it. I still use it. And that's what I'm using to do the ombre. I did a light ombre. Now I'm going to do a dark one to see if it works. Yes, please, please. Um, I have a phone call to do later on this evening, but if it's after 8 o'clock, I can watch your live. I want to see if it works. I do want to see if it works. Okay, we're going to do the darker black magic. The point is used to outline. That's why your lipsticks are shaped like this. So your point is to outline, and then this part right here is to fill in. And again, these, just like the lip liners, they're very pigmented and creamy, and they last a long time. <laughs> Okay, message me, Manduela, message me if you do, if you're going to go live, because I get so many notifications. I get so many notifications. I miss so much from those groups. See how creamy it is? It feels like chapstick, y'all. It does. <laughs> okay, now we gotta blend it in, see if it works. Fingers crossed. Show me some fingers crossed in the, in the comments. Let me clean my brush a little bit, get this pink off. I'm just going to use my cloth really quick. <clears throat> it's pretty neat. This is so neat. I really hope this works. If, this, if it works with a dark color, it'll work for any color. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> Let me put a little more. Oh. Take a lead a little more. is insane in the membrane. It works. Doesn't matter what shade, as long as it's creamy. As long as it's a creamy lipstick, it works. I'm done. It's over. I have a new trick. <laughs> this is the easiest way to ombre your lips. I mean, think about the endless possibilities, ladies. You could take literally any lip liner, not just the white. Think about it. If you have, let me just say, like this, look. Let's say you wanted those ombre right? I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying. And you put this red in the center, and then the darker one on the outside, and then you blend, you just, let me put that back. And then you just, whoop, whoop. That's my dry lip, y'all. But then you go, uh, uh, and just blend from the outside in. That is the easiest way to ombre. Look. It don't even look dark. It don't even look really dark. I'm not liking that dry spot, though. There you go. That was my lip. Dry skin. So make sure you exfoliate your skin. Your lips. Like I didn't. <laughs> I didn't exfoliate. Shame. I did the cheat. I put oil on my lip. <laughs> that is so cool. I'm so, I am so, so happy about this. Y'all don't even know. I know y'all happy about it. Because that just makes ombre, like, everybody's like, oh, I can't do an ombre. I just figured out by what, by finding that tip in Pinterest. I literally, I mean, obviously someone else already knew about this, but I found that tip. I shared it. And now y'all know how to do an ombre the easy way. So please share this video with your friends, your girlfriends, your makeup loving friends. Share it in your groups if you have a makeup group. Share it in there because the more that know, the merrier. Believe me. The more that know this tip, the better it will be for our makeup loving friends. You use concealer? I've never done that. I've always tried to um, mix the two shades. Like I'm trying to like do one whole, my whole mouth, and then lightly tap on the second collar, like in the center, over the collar, and it works, but it's like a lot of work. This is so much easier. This is so much easier. Ladies, get a, get, <laughs> get a white pencil. The white pencil can be used with any shade. This is the key right here. I don't sell this pencil. You'll have to get with your unique presenter. This is a creamy. It's creamy. It's, it's, look. See? It's very creamy. And it's, it's got several uses. So, this one you need. And then if you need a creamy lip liner or lipstick, message me. Oh my goodness, this was like the best, this is the best news ever. <laughs> best news ever. All right. That is all. Oh, if you want to try a lip shade, if I know you well enough and you've gotten to know me well enough and you're not one of those people that just wants a sample because they love to sample hoard, don't message me. But you know who you are. <laughs> but if you're one of those people that actually took the time to get to know me and you're friends with me, and you know your pucker up gal, message me. We can actually go over the shades I have. And I can send you, look at this. You're not sure if it's going to look good on your lips? Guess what? Message me and I will send you a little bitty little sample. Isn't that cute? That is the most cutest thing I've ever seen. Naomi has a couple stashed. Good. Do not get rid of those. Do not get rid of those white pencils. I'm telling you. That is the best invention ever. Because now you've got the ombre. <laughs> that white pencil is gold. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. All right, ladies, thank you for watching. Thank you to those who shared this video. I had a great time. I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you got some um, great tips from this. <laughs> Nandwala, I just say what I feel, girl. I don't hold nothing back. I do not hold nothing back. So I'm glad that I entertain you. <laughs> Have a great Tuesday, everybody. If you've got some awesome tips to share, please 
comment with them below, share them, share them with me privately, wherever, however you want, however you want. Oh, you gotta have fun with that yellow. Girl, you just, just have fun. Have fun. Create stuff and share it with your friends. We'd love to see it. Okay, ladies, have a great night. God bless you all. Stay pucker up beautiful. And I hope you enjoyed this tip. Have a great evening. Talk to y'all later. Bye.